Most mask mandates lifting here in Ohio. Many people might be feeling anxious. You may be about taking your mask off or going back to work in person. We're joined today by Elijah Jones from Toledo Mental Health and Recovery Services. Thanks so much for joining us, Elijah. We spent the last year plus now dealing with mask wearing, distancing, working from home, and now we're beginning to go back to normal. Uh, even today in our office, we were saying how weird it is that we are not wearing masks. Um, Talk a little bit about some of these anxieties and thoughts that we're all having right now. Yeah, I think that's a very common um, reaction that people are experiencing, having some anxiety about um, just getting back to a routine um, that we had that pre-pandemic, you know, about a year ago, so many of us were told to leave the office and not come back for an unknown amount of time. So there is a lot of anxiety and that's really normal. Um, so acknowledging that is really important. And I think, you know, a lot of people still probably feel unsafe even going back, even going back with the restrictions being lifted. Um, finding ways to deal with that anxiety, like um, keeping yourself safe and doing those things like wearing a mask and social distancing, even with restrictions lifted can help um, reduce some of that that anxiety people are experiencing. Yeah, and I think really just being tolerant of what makes everyone individually feel comfortable. Maybe you do want a mask or you don't. Um, just kind of being okay with what other people around you decide. What would your message be, Elijah, to people who are feeling more anxious as we move closer to being out of this pandemic? Yeah, um, I would say that you know, um, anxiety really comes about when you don't feel a lot of control and just to kind of focus on those things that you can control um, your own daily habits getting back to a routine um, wearing the mask if you're if you're feeling unsafe um, social keeping socially distanced and communicating that with your employer and your colleagues around you um, so they can respect your boundaries and um, <clears throat> you can you can respect theirs as well yeah, that was going to be my question, too. Would you suppose that, I mean, what would you recommend? Should people really be going with what everybody else seems to be doing, which is the norm, or really what they feel the most comfortable doing during this time that may still bring a lot of uncertainty? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have to go back to work, I know a lot of places are having like a hybrid schedule or even a lot of places are moving to completely remote because they've seen a lot of the benefits of working remotely. But if you do have to go back, it's really important that you communicate um, how you're feeling and what um, what you're willing to do and what um, what will help you make what will help you feel safe um, as you return to um, a new normal. Really, it's not you. You're not. We're not going to go back to the way things were. I don't think so. Um, finding that new routine and um, keeping those kind of standard practices of washing your hands, keeping hand sanitizer on you, and um, mm -hmm. you know, and I think important too that when you recognizing that when you do feel sick, to you know, take the day off sick and not push yourself um, because you know even as more and more people are getting vaccinated, we, do, we don't know how how things will mutate or mm -hmm. how, um, or if cases will go up where this is all a learning experience for us. It so is. taking, taking a, a day at a time. Elijah Jones from Toledo Mental Health and Recovery Services. Thank you so much during another time of transition for us. Thank you. Yeah.